Hi, this is Selma from Creativest, an Atlassian Marketplace Partner. In this video, we're going to talk about how to organize a Confluence page. Confluence ships more than 100 ready-to-use templates out of the box. You can easily scroll and browse through the given list. To kickstart, you can choose one of those templates or simply start from scratch. As an example, you're a manager and want to draft the annual marketing strategy with your team. Start with setting a page title. You can surf and select an emoji to the page title from above. Hmm, this one looks nice. For a more visually appealing page, you can upload a page header. Now let's start adding content to the page. You can use the Confluence Rich Editor that provides you with different options to add content, format, and much more. Maybe you can start by adding two columns layout here. Simply type slash command and explore the list of macros. Choose the table of content and place it on the left side, whereas on the right side, add more details about the page, like the contributors' names. Use columns for images, type at mention to add reviewers, and two backslashes for dates. For headings, select the text, choose a suitable heading from the toolbar, type in the slash command, or use Ctrl Alt 1 keyboard shortcut. You can find the list of shortcuts by clicking the help button on the bottom left side. Now back to our page. Create a table, customize the cell's background color, and voila! You might need another layout here to devise the target audience. See, as simple as that. Perhaps you could add an info panel here to indicate a note to the page viewers. Hyperlink with a simple shortcut, Ctrl V. Or embed a link and choose the card display. If you want to assign some tasks to your team members, it's best to use the action item macro and then type add to assign it to someone. Confluence also allows you to include a page within your current page. Awesome, right? Some macros in Confluence could be used in different functions. For example, you can use the status macro for unrelated purposes as we did here. It presents a dazzling display, don't you think? Emojis could also be useful for showing ratings for something like the example here. You can use dividers to separate between different sections and probably add a quote to remind the team that the customer should always be the center of focus. To take your page to the next level, add informative visuals. If you want to do even more on Confluence, you can add apps from Atlassian Marketplace. For example, Smart Images for Confluence is an app that allows you to edit images, insert sliders and galleries of hundreds of visuals to your Confluence page and much more. Try it for free! Thank you for watching!